What is Data Governance? Me, myself, and AI in the Chief Data Officer Summit of 2021. Welcome to the top five data AI analytics posts of the week. This is the Data Driven Carcast, the weekend update where I review, highlight, and recap for you what's hot and what's not in the world of data. I want to thank you again for your engagement, the DMs, and all the resources you're sending me uh, throughout the week. They mean a lot and they help the community continue to do that. And of course, if you're new to this, make sure to subscribe, comment, like if you uh, like this content. And of course, use, share, and abuse this content as much as you can. As always, if you click on the link down below here, you'll go to my blog and you'll get access to a deck that has all the links and resources of the post I'm going to talk about here. Now, we start these posts with great successes of data analytics leaders. And this week, I want to talk about three of them. First of all, the story of ShareChat. This is a company with 160 million users, migrated 70 terabytes of data, 220 tables, some of which had 14 terabytes of data in them and nearly 50 billion rows. And they migrated that in, wait for it, five hours, no data loss, no downtime, amazing story written by Banu, their co-founder and CTO. You're going to love that. The second story to pay attention to if you're French like me is the story of La Provence. La Provence, if you don't know them, is a French newspaper from the, the south of France, Marseille, where I'm from. And I was amazed to read this story because I remember growing up reading the newspaper and walking down to the newspaper stand to buy it from my grandfather. So, Mathieu, thank you so much uh, for writing this story and, and providing your testimonial. I hope it's going to help a lot of people in the industry learn uh, from your success. And then finally, if you are in the luxury goods business, you know about Farfetch. And because Farfetch is the global platform for luxury, this past week I talked to Pedro and he is my customer of the week. Three million active consumers, 1,300 plus luxury sellers on their platforms. Farfetch has developed amazing best practices. It just went IPO a couple of years ago. A link to uh, Pedro's profile are on my uh, feed. So make sure to connect with him. He's got a lot to share with you. Now, we never talk enough about ladies in tech and particularly ladies who are chief data officers. And this week is a perfect week because the Chief Data Officer magazine released their global data power list, the women's edition of 2021. And by skimming through the list, you'll recognize some of the world's largest brands hired women as their chief data officers. So for instance, I bet you didn't know that a chief data officer for California is a woman. And if you check out the list, you'll notice some of the biggest brands have great ladies chief data officers running data teams, American Express, Albertsons, JPM Chase, the United States Air Force. And so this comes in the same week where Harvard Business Review actually republished a research showing that women score higher than men in most leadership skills. So if you want to hear from them, make sure to register for the upcoming CDO and Data Leaders Global Summit of 2021. That's hosted on May 5th. The registration is free. Lots of learning from these presenters. Link is down below on the blog as well. Check it out. And one more best practice I want to share because it's a personal one. Uh, this is a friend of mine, Thierry Dares, has announced that he's retired. And he has authored a piece that of all his learnings across his data analytics journey. Uh, I had the opportunity to work with Thierry, of course, at Microsoft. Then he went on to uh, Tableau before they went IPO. And I worked with him again at Google as he came through the acquisition of AppSheet. And uh, you'll check out the post. Lots of great stuff from Thierry. He calls it the 20 short tales of acquiring companies, incubating ideas into products and being acquired. It's a great read. Thierry, I know you're telling everyone that you are retiring, but nobody's buying it. So I will see you again very soon. Now, we've talked a little bit earlier about chief data officers, and if you are one, or if you're in the world of data, you know that your number one problem is data governance. And if you remember, we talked about this topic quite a bit in the past. We quoted the BCG, who had a great one-liner on, on data governance, where they said, you know, for many companies, data governance is the equivalent of flossing. You know it's good for you, but you'd rather be doing something else, anything else, actually. And we also know that data governance is still a problem. When asked, 60% of uh, respondents rate their data governance capabilities at various levels of underdevelopment. And according to Gartner, 42% of data and analytics leaders do not assess, do not measure, do not monitor their data analytics governance. So the answer is always 42, but nonetheless, 
uh, there's a lot of help coming your way. This past week, CIO.com published a great piece on the essentials of data governance. And this is a piece written by a good friend of mine, uh, Thor, who I've talked to and briefed many, many times. Thor gets it in his piece. He really gives you the essentials of data governance, something you can share with your friends, your team, and your colleagues. He covers work from Bark. He covers work from Dama. Dama is the Data uh, Management Association. And he talks about the difference between data governance and data management. He talks about the 10 data management knowledge areas that are affected by data governance. And of course, talks about the goals and the benefits of uh, data governance. Thor gets it. He had, does a great job in this piece. This is something I would print. This is something I would share. And I have Miles to thank for sharing this resource with all of us. So thank you so much. In fact, if you want to know more about data governance, here's a resource I highly recommend you take a look at, the Data Governance Guide, the definite guide written by my friends, Evren, Udi, Lack, Jesse, and Anita. Uh, take a look at the book and uh, reach out to them if uh, you feel like you need to uh, find out more. That's it for this week. A lot's going on. There's a lot more resources in my blog. We don't have time to cover all of it in this quick update. I want to thank you for your engagement. Thank you for your direct messages. And again, the resources you're sending to uh, me uh, throughout the week. I try to cover them here. I hope to see you soon and hear from you. I will see you next week.